The General Electric GAU-8 per hour Avenger is a 30 mm hydraulically driven seven-barrel Gatling-type cannon that is typically mounted to the United States Air Force's Fairchild Republic at 10 Thunderbolt II. Designed specifically for the anti-tank role, the Avenger delivers very powerful rounds at a high rate of fire. The GAU-8 per hour is also mounted to the goalkeeper CIWS. History the GAU-8 was created as a parallel program with the AX competition that produced the A-10. The specification for the cannon was laid out in 1970, with General Electric and Philco Ford offering competing designs. Both of the AX prototypes, the YAR-10 and the Northrop YAR-9, were designed to incorporate the weapon, although it was not available during the initial competition. The M-61 Vulcan was used as a temporary replacement. Once completed, the entire GAU-8 assembly represents about 16% of the A-10 aircraft's unladen weight. Because the gun plays a significant role in maintaining the A-10's balance and center of gravity, a jack must be installed beneath the tail of the plane whenever the gun is removed for inspection in order to prevent the aircraft from tipping rearwards. The gun is placed slightly off-center in the nose of the plane with the front landing gear positioned to the right of the center line so that the actively firing cannon barrel is directly on the aircraft's center line. The Russian Gyatsev Shipinov GSH-6-30 is a similar class of weapon, although it is lighter with a higher fire rate, but has a lower muzzle velocity and overheats faster. The A-10 and its GAU-8 para gun entered service in 1977. It was produced by General Electric, Though General Dynamics Armament and Technical Products has been responsible for production and support since 1997 when the division was sold by Lockheed Martin to General Dynamics. The gun is loaded using Syntex Link Tube Carrier GFU 8-E30 M ammunition loading assembly cart. This vehicle is unique to the A-10 and the GAU-8. Design The GAU-8 itself weighs 620 pounds, but the complete weapon with feed system and drum, weighs 4,029 pounds with a maximum ammunition load. It measures 19 FT 5A 1A 2A in from the muzzle to the rearmost point of the ammunition system, and the ammunition drum alone is 34.5 inches in diameter and 71.5 inches long. Power for operating the gun is provided by twin hydraulic motors pressurized from two independent hydraulic systems. The magazine can hold 1,174 rounds, although 1,150 is the typical loadout. Muzzle velocity when firing armor-piercing incendiary rounds is 3,250 feet per second, almost the same as the substantially lighter M61 Vulcan's 20 on round. The standard ammunition mixture for anti-armor use is a 5 to 1 mix of PGU-14 per byte armor-piercing incendiary with a projectile weight of about 14.0 ounces and PGU-13 per byte high explosive incendiary rounds, with a projectile weight of about 13.3 ounces. The PGU-14 per byte projectile incorporates a lightweight aluminum body, cast around a smaller caliber depleted uranium penetrating core. The Avenger is lethal against tanks and all other armored vehicles. A very important innovation in the design of the GAU-8 per hour ammunition is the use of aluminum alloy cases in place of the traditional steel or brass. This alone adds 30% to ammunition capacity for a given weight. The projectiles incorporate a plastic driving band to improve barrel life. The shells are imposing to examine and handle, measuring 11.4 inches in length and weighing 1.53 pounds or more. The Avenger's rate of fire was originally selectable, 2,100 rounds per minute in the low setting, or 4,200 RPMs in the high setting. Later this was changed to a fixed rate of 3,900 RPMs. In practice, the cannon is limited to 1 and 2 second bursts to avoid overheating and conserve ammunition. Barrel life is also a factor since the USAF has specified a minimum life of at least 20,000 rounds for each set of barrels. There is no technical limitation on the duration the gun may be continuously fired, and a pilot could potentially expend the entire ammunition load in a single burst with no damage or ill effects to the weapon system itself. However, this constant rate of fire would shorten the barrel life considerably and require added barrel inspections and result in shorter intervals between replacement. 
Each barrel is a very simple non-automatic design having its own breech and bolt. Like the original Gatling gun, the entire firing cycle is actuated by cams and powered by the rotation of the barrels. The barrels themselves are driven by the aircraft's dual hydraulic system. The GAU-8 per hour ammunition is linkless, reducing weight and avoiding a great deal of potential for jamming. The feed system is double-ended, allowing the spent casings to be recycled back into the ammunition drum, instead of ejected from the aircraft, which would require considerable force to eliminate potential airframe damage. The feed system is based on that developed for later M61 installations, but uses more advanced design techniques and materials throughout, to save weight. Firing System Accuracy the GAU-8 per hour is extremely accurate and can fire 4,200 rounds per minute without complications. The 30mm shell has twice the range, half the time to target, and three times the mass of projectiles carried by comparable close air support aircraft. The muzzle velocity of the GAU-8 per hour is about the same as that of the M61 Vulcan cannon, but uses heavier ammunition and a superior ballistics. Its time of flight to 4,000 feet is 30% less than that of an M61 round, the projectile decelerates much less rapidly after leaving the barrel, and it drops a negligible amount, about 10 feet over the distance. The GAU-8 per hour accuracy when installed in the A-10 is rated at 5 mil, 80%, meaning that 80% of rounds fired will hit within a cone with an angle of 5 milli radians. This equates to a 40 feet diameter circle at the weapon's design range of 4,000 feet. By comparison, the M61 has an 8 milli radian dispersion. Recoil Each barrel fires when it reaches roughly the 9 o'clock position, when viewed from the front of the plane. Because the gun's recoil forces could push the entire plane off target during firing, the weapon itself is mounted off center in the other direction, toward the 3 o'clock position so that the firing barrel lies directly on the aircraft's center line. The firing barrel also lies just below the aircraft's center of gravity, being bore sighted along a line two degrees below the aircraft's line of flight. This arrangement accurately centers the recoil forces, preventing changes in pitch or yaw when fired. This configuration also provides space for the front landing gear, which is mounted slightly off center on the right side of the nose. The GAU-8 Para utilizes recoil adapters. They are the interface between the gun housing and the gun mount. By absorbing the recoil forces, they spread the time of the recoil impulse and counter-recoil energy transmitted to the supporting structure when the gun is fired. The A-10 engines were initially susceptible to flame out when subjected to gases generated in the firing of the gun. When the GAU-8 is being fired, the smoke from the gun can make the engine stop and this did occur during initial flight testing. Gun exhaust is essentially oxygen-free, and is certainly capable of causing flameouts of gas turbines. The A-10 engines now have a self-sustaining combustion section. When the gun is fired the igniters come on to reduce the possibility of a flameout. The average recoil force of the GAU-8 per hour is 10,000 pounds force, which is slightly more than the output of one of the A-10's two TF-34 engines. While this recoil force is significant, in practice a cannon fire burst only slows the aircraft a few miles per hour in level flight. Variants Some of the GAU-8 per hour technology has been transferred into the smaller 25mm GAU-12-U equalizer, which was developed for the AV-8B Harrier II aircraft. The GAU-12 is about the same size as the 20mm M61. GE has also developed the GAU-13 per hour a four-barreled weapon using GAU-8 para components, which has been tested in podded form as the GPU-5 para. The Avenger also forms the basis for the Dutch-developed goalkeeper CIWS naval air defense gun. No current or contemplated aircraft other than the A-10, however, carries the full-up Avenger system. Specifications Precision 80% of rounds fired at 4,000 feet range hit within a 40 feet diameter circle, ammo, PGU-14 per byte API armor piercing incendiary, PGU-13 per byte HEI high explosive incendiary, PGU-15 per byte TP target practice. Armor penetration, 69 ohm at 500 meters, 38 ohm at 1,000 meters. 
See also, T249 Vigilante, Gyatsev Shipinov GSH-6-30, General, List of Aircraft Weapons, List of Multiple Barrel Firearms, References. Spick, Michael. The Great Book of Modern Warplanes, Salamander Books, 2000. ISBN 1-84065-156-3. External links, General Electric GAU-8 Para Avenger on USAF National Museum site, GAU-8 Avenger, Hill Aerospace Museum, FAS.org, General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems GAU-8 Para Page, Video of the GAU-8 Avenger Test Firing.